My name's Barsi, I'm CTO and co-founder of Y Group, um, and I head up the tech and everything to do with tech and implementation in our company. Look, um, it's very hard to, to, to sort of forecast the future, and I've seen a lot of technical genii in the past um, make colossal mistakes in terms of forecasting trends. So I think our attitude, from, certainly from a technology perspective, is, is to describe to the market the standards of mobile transacting that we think should be happening, that makes sense to the customer and makes sense to us from a, you know, whether it's a four-party acquiring model or a three-party acquiring model, keeping the banks happy, keeping the closed loop providers happy, keeping the Visa and MasterCards happy, because they really do have the strength when it comes to intercontinental transacting and stuff like that. Um, and then making sure whichever trend happens, and obviously we keep, we forecast whichever trend it could be, whether it's closed loop transacting loyalties coupons, which we've seen um, pick up recently quite a lot, whether it's money transfers in the African context, which is something no one really saw coming from a big picture perspective because it's basically because of a lack of banking infrastructure that money transfers are so popular. So that's kind of a, an oxymoron. Um, so to answer your question in terms of trends, um, we believe we are flexible enough and we have such leading transactional technology that whatever the trend is, we'll be able to cater for it and adapt fast enough um, to cater for that need. That having been said, um, if I were to have to put my chips on the table, I would say mobile transacting in closed loop spaces within the retail brick and mortar sector is going to be the biggest big growth industry for mobile payments in the next five years. The second biggest is probably going to be um, also closed loop, but instead of brick and mortar, linking online transacting to brick and mortar. The simple reason for that is brick and mortar retailers are now being threatened by online retailers and they have to take their operations online to survive. We've seen it in the States, a number of, of Radio Shack kind of chains have actually closed because of Amazon and Radio Shack is struggling because guys come into their stores, touch and feel the product and then buy it cheaper online. So retailers are, have to move their stuff online and you know all the sort of traditional card fraud and stuff that comes with that from a transaction perspective which they don't have to deal with in brick and mortar, we solve that problem with them, for them through our mobile platform. Y Group. Mobile. Transacting. Simplified.